Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a fun festival inspired makeup look for you guys. I know Coachella is right around the corner and I have seen so many fun festival inspired makeup looks on YouTube and Instagram. So it really inspired me to create one for you guys. I just wanted to like step outside of the box and do something a little bit different, incorporate a little bit of color and get a little funky with it. So this is the look that I came up with here. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so we can stay connected. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it always helps out. Otherwise, if you guys want to see how I get this fun festival makeup look here, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so first off I'm priming my eyes and I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in the skin tone color and I have absolutely been loving this because it cancels out any redness or pigmentation on my eyes but it's not overly drying. And then I'm going into the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This is a limited edition palette and I am taking the only matte shade in there called Myth and it's a gorgeous warm tone eyeshadow and I'm using this for my transition color and also dusting a little bit on the lower lash line. And I'm using just a big fluffy blending brush. This is the Sigma E40 I believe. And I decided to go into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange on my Mikasa blending brush and I'm also just dusting that into my crease area. I just really wanted to warm everything up and I'm also taking that into the inner corner. I decided that I'm going to do kind of like a halo look for this. So just really building up that color and softly diffusing everything. I just really want this look to be nice and blown out and I'm also dusting that onto the lower lash line as well. And then I'm going into the Tarlet in Bloom palette and I'm taking the shade called Rebel. It's like a gorgeous reddish brown shade and I'm taking that on my Mikasa tapered blending brush and I'm starting to deepen up that outer corner and just really starting to bring some more depth and dimension to the eyes. And then I'll also take that into the inner corner and I'm using a Morphe detailer brush and I always forget the number of this so I'll list it down below in the description bar. But I absolutely love this brush because it allows you to deepen up that inner corner without getting too messy. And I'm also taking that onto the lower lash line and just really smoking everything out. And then I'm going back into the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm taking that shade called Leader. And this is more like a deep plum brown shade and basically doing the same steps. I'm just deepening up those inner and outer corners and just really bringing a lot of depth and dimension to the eyes. The key is building. So you really want to start with your lighter shades and build up to your darker shades. And it's just going to give your eyes so much dimension and character. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm just packing that on the center of my eyelid where I'm going to go in with the next shimmer shade. And now for the star of the show, I'm going in with this color called Dream from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. And it's such a stunning like shimmery teal color. And I'm packing that onto the center of my lid with a flat shader brush. I believe this is from Urban Decay. But that... Glitter glue is just going to really ensure that this shadow like locks in place and doesn't transfer, especially because I have hooded lids. So it'll really ensure that your shadow lo uh, locks in and you don't have much fallout, which is really nice. So then I'm just blending out the edges of that shadow with a clean brush and then basically building up those outer and inner corners with those same deep reddish brown shadows and kind of just making sure that there's a nice transition from the brown to the blue so you want to go back and forth you know between your reddish brown shade and then I'll go back in and add a little bit more of the blue shade just to make sure everything is nice and blended and you don't have like a harsh transition from one color to the next so just take your time go back and forth with the colors until you get it to where you want and then I decided that I wanted to add some more color to the look. So I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery purple color called Fairy. And I'm taking that on a dome synthetic brush from Morphe. And basically just packing a little bit of that purple on like the outer and inner corners. Kind of like as a transition between the blue and brown shades. And then of course going back in and just blending everything out. Make sure everything is nice and seamless. There are no harsh lines. And everything kind of fades nicely from one color to the next. And then for one of my favorite parts of this look, I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Deja Blue. And it's a gorgeous sky blue shade and I'm taking that to my lower waterline. I just really feel like this tied the whole look together and bought, uh, brought like a nice pop to the eyes. And then I'm going into the lower lash line and just kind of blending that out with some more of that burnt orange shadow. And making sure that it's kind of nice and seamless and blended. And then going back in with that shade called Leader. And I'm taking that on a flat 
definer brush from Sigma and just really starting to deepen up that outer corner of my lower lash line. So I kind of pack that color on and then blend it out with a little bit more of that burnt orange shadow just to make sure everything is nice and smoked out. And this will bring a lot of definition to the eyes as well. And after I did that, I decided that I wanted to add some more color. So I'm going back in with that color Dream, which is that teal blue color. And I'm basically packing that on the lower lash line kind of to the center of my eye. And then I'm going in with a shade called Mystic, and it's more of like a silvery blue color, and I'm mixing it with that center highlight shade and taking that to my tear duct which just for a nice pop. And then I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is my favorite. This is the Tarte Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara, just doing a quick coat. And then moving on to the face, I'm going in with this iconic London Liquid Illuminator and just popping that onto the high points of my cheekbones and the high points of my face for a gorgeous glow. I absolutely love this Liquid Illuminator. Um, and I already did my foundation off camera. Today I'm using the Kevin Aquan Etherealist Foundation. And it is the most gorgeous like illuminating foundation. I will have a review for you guys coming very soon on that. So stay tuned. But basically just starting to highlight the high points of my face. And then I'm going to go in with this Tarte. This is like a duo-sided contour stick. And basically contouring um, the hollows of my cheekbones, the jawline, perimeter of my forehead, as well as my nose. Anytime that I really want my contour to last throughout the day, I will start with a cream contour. And then I'll go back in and set that with some powder. And then I'm going in with the ColourPop um, and Alexis Ren collaboration. This is the Topaz palette and I'm taking the bronzer side and just bronzing up that skin, setting that cream contour in place. And this bronzer is such a warm tone bronzer. It gives you a gorgeous sun-kissed look. So if you don't like warm tone bronzers, you will not like this, but I absolutely love it. And then I'm going in with the Cover FX Matte Translucent Powder and basically just setting all of the... Um, are setting all my cream products in place. I absolutely love this powder because it helps to keep me more matte throughout the day. And then I'm going in with my NARS Laguna bronzer, which is more of a cool tone bronzer. And I'm using this mostly to contour um, and just kind of deepen up everything. I really wanted to be so bronzed for this look. And now for the fun part, going in with the highlight, I'm taking Anastasia's Moonchild Glow Kit and I am first going in with Blue Moon and basically I am going hard with this highlight. Like I wanted to be glowing to the gods and I wanted to look like a unicorn. So I honestly like built up that highlight all on my cheekbone, around my eyebrow, kind of like in that C-shape form and basically just highlighting the same places of my face that I typically do, my cupid's bow, center of the nose, tip of the nose. And I honestly went in with a couple other colors. I think I used purple horseshoe and then I topped it all off with that center shade from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette which is kind of like an icy white shade so I just went in and built up that highlighter like no other and then for blush I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Warm Soul blush it's like a beautiful peachy blush and just popping that onto my cheekbones and blending that up into my highlight and I thought it looked so stunning with like the contrasting purple and blue highlight color and um, because I did go a little hard on my bronzer and contour, I decided to clean that up a little bit with some translucent powder in my beauty blender. This powder is the, what is this, Makeup Forever Pressed HD powder. So I just cleaned it up. I didn't bake or anything and then just kind of brushed that all over my skin to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I popped on some falsies. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. These are one of my favorites. They're just so wispy and gorgeous. And then for the lip color, I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics Bare It All. I believe this is one of their newer shades, and I just recently picked this up, and honestly, like, I am obsessed with this color. It is my perfect nude, and I have not stopped wearing it since I picked it up, and I thought it went so well with this look. It's not too, too light, not too dark, it's not too, like, peach, not too pink, it's just, like, the perfect nude for me, and I am obsessed. And then I'm going uh, in and setting everything with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is the cucumber scent, I believe. Basically just locking in all those powders. And then for some detailing, I'm going in. This is um, with that green eyeshadow from the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. It's in the color called Marvel. And basically what I did is mixed it with some mixing medium to make it more of like a liquid. And I am just lining right underneath my brow bone to give it like a nice fun pop of color. And then I wanted to create some like tribal designs. So I'm going in with that Marc Jacobs eyeliner and just making some dots above my brows. I feel like this just gave it a nice, fun, funky pop and kind of tied the whole look together. 
And then I also took that same green mixture and I just drew a line down the center of my lip just to go along with those same festival vibes. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching as always. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.